In this video, we're going to complete example two. This time we're going to do a compound interest graph. It says to construct a compound interest graph to show the amount of interest you will earn this time over a period of 20 years. And we're investing $50,000 at a compound interest rate of 3.5% per annum. After we've done this, we want to use the graph to estimate the amount of interest you will earn after six years. So we had some dot points that mentioned that you need to label the horizontal axis as N and label the vertical axis as I. So we'll do that now. So our horizontal axis is N and our vertical axis is I. The next dot point mentions that we need to construct a table of values for I and N. Now, because we're doing this over a period of 20 years, we want to reach the number 20 here. In order for this to work, I really think we need to go up by fours this time. So 0, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Perfect. We reached 20 right at the end how we wanted to. Now we'll grab our compound interest formula, which is future value equals present value times in brackets 1 plus R to the power of N. So the $50,000 here represents our present value or the amount of money that we are investing. The 3.5% is our R, remembering that we need to take our percentage and divide it by 100, giving us 0 0.035 as R. And N keeps changing. So we're going to find the future value after zero years first. Our present value is always $50,000, which is the same as our principal. We're going to times this by 1 plus R, R being 0 0.035. And we're going to put this to the power of N, which in this case is 0. So we'll just bring up our calculator and just plug it in, work it out. 50,000 times bracket 1 plus 0 0.035 close the brackets and put this to the power of zero. And it equals 50,000 because after zero years, you haven't received any interest at all. Now, we'll put that here under future value, 50,000. And below that, we need to put the interest. Now, the interest is taken by taking your future value and subtracting your present value, which in this case is going to be zero because you haven't received any interest after zero years. Okay, let's find the future value after four years this time. This time we have our present value the same. We have the interest rate the same, 0.035, but we're putting this to the power of four this time. Bringing up our calculator, 50 thousand times bracket 1 plus 0 0.035 and putting this to the power of 4 equals and we get 57,376 57,376.15 now this is going to be quite hard to fit in the spaces in the table and because we just making it into a graph, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to include the cents in this calculation. So I'm just going to write $57,376. And I also need to find the interest after four years. So I take my future value, 57,376.15, not that we're worrying about the 15 cents, and we're going to subtract the 50,000. Now this will give us $7,376.15 and I'm just going to write it as $7,376 in my interest row. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause and I'm just going to put all the answers in there and I'm going to let you work it out on your own. Alright, so I've filled in all my values. I, I haven't finished this last one which is $49,489. You'll notice that I didn't put any cents in there because it's just too hard to fit in the spaces. And the last step we're going to do now is we're going to label um, and join points on our graph. 
okay but we need to pick a good scale first so first of all we want n to go up to 20 so I think we could start at 0 and skip two squares and go up by fours 16 and 20 so that worked out really well I ended up at 20 where I wanted to and we're graphing interest so we're graphing and I'll just highlight it in green we're graphing this row here and it goes almost as high as fifty thousand dollars so I think the best way to do this well first of all I need some room because it's quite hard to fit things on the screen here I think we'll go up two squares and go ten thousand each time 10k 20k 30k 40k and finally 50k so that worked out really well as as well that's a good scale I've picked there and let's join them up and remembering we're focusing on only two of the rows we're focusing on n and we're focusing on i all right so when n is zero i is zero so that's our first marker I'll, I'll actually do this in green so we're doing it column at a time so when n is 4 we have 7376 which goes approximately here almost three quarters of the way up to 10,000 when n is 8 we have 15,840 which is almost halfway between the 10 and the, tw the 10 and the 20k when n is 12 we have 25,553 almost halfway between the 20 and the 30k when n is 16 we have 36,669 so slightly more than halfway between the 30 and the 40k and finally almost 50k for the 20 um, just under 49,489 okay now when we join these up I want to make a little I want to point something out that compound interest graphs will make a curve now the one that I've done has a very very slight curve to it okay usually with the ones you'll get in the textbook the curve will usually be a bit more obvious but it hasn't in this one so we do not do straight lines for compound interest graphs we want um, actually I'll do it in green we want sort of a curve now for this particular curve it's it's getting steeper and steeper as the years progress I would like to point out that if we had gone beyond the 20 year mark the graph would have become steeper and steeper like so just to show you it would have started creeping up like this and getting really really steep now there is another part of the question that we haven't quite solved yet it wants you to estimate the amount of interest you'll earn after six years notice it says estimate which means it doesn't have to be a perfect solution and we're going to do it using the graph and it said six years so six is about here halfway between the four and the eight and if we go up and meet at the graph and then across to the left you'll see we're slightly above 10k maybe let's say 12k it's just an estimate so we'll write down we'll say after six years you'll get approximately so we'll just write approx approximately um, 12k in interest anyway that concludes example two remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video